Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So, I'm going to, ah, oh, sorry. I'm going to do another flip cup. So I'm trying to do a, a, a series of flip cups in kind of my basics range, which just means I'm using less amount of colors, but trying to make what I do do um, stand out and, and look cool without having to add 10 different colors into it so i'll go back to doing ones with multiple colors but for now i'm trying to do ones a bit basic i will be doing black and white so just black and white only which should be quite interesting so what will happen is i'll get white parts i'll get black parts and i'll get gray parts because the black and the white will mix because they are going to be touching each other the only difference is I'm only going to do two layers of each colour because if I do three layers, I'll end up getting more grey than I will black and white. I want to have big chunks of white and big chunks of black in there to hopefully give me some good definition between black, white and grey. That is my theory and my plan. So I have a 12 by 16 canvas. I have my paints mixed up, which are 60 grams paint, 60 grams um, glue pouring medium, which is Elmar's clear glue 70%, water 30%. I did have to add a tiny bit of water to um, each of the colours because they were just a little bit too thick. Then I have added four drops of Helmar's silicon oil into each um cup so four drops in each cup and i mix in well i always mix my silicon in well it's just the way i like to do it so that's it um i don't think i have any other prep to do oh i will mention one thing with these flip cups make sure your canvas is level this canvas that i went to do um, which I, I pinned up ready to do was not a hundred percent level it just had a tiny little bit of um, a raised corner so don't use it in a flip cup especially if you want your cells to be even because what will happen is if you don't that one corner that is raised up will make the other mostly the opposite corner drag off and you'll lose all your, your nice looking cells over here and they'll be all stretched in this corner only. Or it will make this corner stretch down to the middle. You're just best to, so I put the canvas on and I just tap the corners and there's no rocking. So once you know there's no rocking, then it should be level. But um, I can use that one that's got a slight um, difference in it for uh, a ghost swipe or... Um, Oh, swipes, the ghost swipe is probably the easiest one where I don't get a lot of running from the canvas being slightly tilted. Um, so yeah, you've got to sometimes, if you get a canvas like that, just use it for a certain other type of painting, but don't use it for a flip cup. Um, you, you will regret it in the long run. So, um, This is the purple and white one that I did. Purple, white and grey. So that is that is dry now. That's dry, but it's still on my drying tray. So I'm really happy with that. And this is going to be similar, but it's just going to be black, white and grey. So these are all in my... Well, I'm calling it simplistic ones. I just They're just more not bold colours. I'm just doing couple of colors and the whites so I think I will get started so it's just going to be a matter of giving it a little stir just because I got silicon in there and these are thick they actually they feel really good actually the consistency of these um, I've used more than half a cup. 
don't know why I do that. Always seem to use more. So we want to layer it. So you don't want to pour it in like a dirty pour, you want to have it layered. So that's why I kind of just move the cup around because it kind of just moves it so it floats on top. So this should... I'm hoping this looks really good. There we go. And I do find, because I stir my silicon in well, I usually get smallish cells, but um, I don't mind smaller cells. So these three cups are going to be relatively full by the time I've done all of this, um, the two layers. That last one always gets less. That's why it always gets less, because I use too much paint in the other two colours. So I would recommend try to make it so you only use half a cup when you do your first layering. Um, yeah, I always seem to use more than I should. But no, I'm excited about it. I haven't actually done very many black and white pours for a while. I used to do a few of them um, in the past. But I haven't done any for a little while, so I don't think I've done any since I've been doing videos. So this should be interesting for everyone to see. Yeah, so I got some more paints turn up today. So the art shop has had a, a sale on. Um, a sale online, not so well. There is a sale in the store as well, but the online sale seems to have a couple of extra specials. So I got a few things while they were cheap, which was really good. And it's funny, I, I ordered. Some one day and some the next day. And I got my second daughter first. Alrighty, we're nearly there. Sorry for this, everyone. I know not everyone wants to see it being poured into a cup, but I prefer to do it freshly than do it too early and this does help so I like to do it like this so I can actually see what I've done 
So if I do an artwork that I think turned out really good, I can go back and see if there's a reason why it turned out better than it did other times. Or if something went wrong, I can go back and have a look and go, you know what, that's why my cells turned out horrible. I, I put the silicon in, but I forgot to stir it. So it's actually good to, for me to record things so I can, I can go back and look at things myself and see what I preferred and what I didn't prefer. Alrighty, so I'm going to swap that one and that one around because that one there is a little bit lower. Not much, just a tad. Actually, I'll do the gloves in a second. Let's flip these over. Okay. All right. Okay, so, and this here, I decided to go white at the bottom, um, which means white at the top once I turn it over. If I did it the other way around, I'd probably actually get a slightly different um, uh, look to my, to my painting. I actually didn't know which color to put last or first. First, which is last. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that was just, sometimes you the way that you do layer it will actually make uh, quite a bit of a difference. So I'll put my gloves on. These are my gloves that I really like. They're not latex, they're nylon, no, vinyl. Um, and they actually fit my hands really well, so I've still got a lot of control just means I don't have, um, I just can't slide them back off. There's no way I'm going to slide these off. They, I have to throw them out each time. <clears throat> Pardon me. Alrighty. Let's get flipping. So like normal, if you've watched my videos before, you realize I pour it onto the corners and occasionally onto the side. This will get poured off, tilted off when I tilt my canvas. So I won't leave these on. Just don't want to waste a lot of paint, which happens anyway, but it does kind of help. Because there's a fair bit of paint still. You can feel the weight of the cup compared to an empty cup. And I haven't put silicon in the bottom of these cups. Um, I'm not doing it as much anymore because I was wondering whether it's giving, giving me too many early cells. I may have to try it again, but for now I haven't. For now I'm giving it a break to see what difference I get. And when I mean silicon in the bottom of the cup, I'm, it's a silicon spray just to help it release. But I'm, I might try it again soon and just see whether it does do anything or not. But I've given myself a break from using it for now. Okay. That's alright. I've definitely got black. Haven't got a lot of white, but the white will pop up in cells. So I can see black and I can see grey. So I'm just gonna come downwards. And try and keep those lines there relatively where they should be.
Now I'm going to have to go off this bottom corner and the side. Yeah. So that line is a little bit more over this way than I would have preferred. But I can change that when I go over this end. There. It's, they've le leveled themselves up a little bit better. So now I'm just coming back this way. Now I'm going to go over this corner up here and get this blob off. And again, try to keep that line. It's gone a little bit to that side, but that's okay. Bring that paint back towards the center. And then I'm going to go over this corner. All right. Now, if I tip off a little bit more, I'm going to straighten those lines back up. There we go. Now, I want to get rid of this one down here, this big cell that's already appeared. So I'm just going to come down. I hope you guys can see. Just want to push off that one big cell. Yes, it does mean I'm wasting a bit of paint, but I want that cell gone. All right, bringing it back. So my lines are relatively where I want them to be. If you want to have them a little bit wavy, you, or you can, you just tilt it so it's got a bit of a, a wave in it. Um, I'm happy where they are. They got a slight wave to them, but not a lot. So cells are going to start, um, you can see I've got some cells. They're a little bit not circular. And to me, it's not the end of the world. The one down the bottom I didn't like so much, so I wanted to get rid of that one. Oops. Now, turn this down, which it's still full, so it's going to go a little bit crazy again, like it does on me. And there is bubbles in this, so I am going to get what I call bubble cells, which is just little specks where the air bubbles pop. So I haven't got many cells pop up yet. So just keep moving the, the torch. Because when they do decide they're going to come up, they're going to come up. Still getting air bubble cells. Oh, air bubble popping. I didn't make my mix up early enough and I did stir a little bit vigorously with the um, after I put the silicon in. Alrighty. Then I'm gonna have to get a little bit slower with my movement. Hoping that I um, can force swallow. That forced some cells there. I'm still moving it, I'm just moving it slower. Trying to... Trying to get a bit of heat into the silicon without burning or doing it too heavy. So I'm getting a little bit heavy in certain spots.
<laughs> I get none and then I get a few, a whole cluster of them, but that happens. Still trying to keep it at a little bit of a distance. Trying. I hold it a little bit closer then because I got a whole bunch come up. The ones that are coming up are actually pretty cool looking. Nice colours. So sometimes you just want one or two to pop up, but instead you get a whole little cluster of them. I'm going to stop it there for the moment and let this do its thing. Cool. I'm actually really happy because the, the it was looking a little bit grey with just the white and black kind of streaks in the little black corner. But now the cells are coming up. I'm definitely getting a lot more of the black and a lot more of the, the white. And there's so many that are black and white. So definitely like a, a ring of black or around a white one or a white, whichever, the opposite way around. Sorry, I forgot which way I said the first time. <laughs> and we still got a bunch of grey ones as well happening so we've got greys coming through here we've got nice dark ones there here dark over here nice light ones some dark and some greys we've got dark light black more black with a bit of white more white with a bit of black so this is pretty cool there's a couple of big cells and a couple of um Ones that are a little bit egg shaped, but they came up before I started torching, um, which is like that one there, those two, that one. This is a bigger one. There's one over there that's getting buried by cells, but you, you can't expect every single one to pop up and be perfect. Um, you can just do your best. <clears throat> if you want it to be perfect, you're just going to have to keep doing multiple canvases until one turns out exactly the way you like it so yeah i don't think i'm going to torch this anymore part of me wants to um and part of me doesn't i i wouldn't mind one or two more here but if i feel if i try and get one or two more here i'm going to get 20 so it's either don't do any more or get 20 more. I don't think I'm going to get just a couple as much as I'm going to try. But it's good having, you've got, you got negative areas where there isn't anything and then you've got areas where there is cells. So I think that's probably the best way to, to actually leave it. Now, um, I did forget to check my corners, but my corners are covered. Now we are going to scrape. The last couple of videos I've done, I have scraped, but I forgot to scrape on camera and I scraped off camera. So I hope people don't think that I haven't been scraping because I have. I just sometimes forget to do it while I'm showing you what to do. 
and as soon as the camera is turned off, I get stuck into it. Oops. Got caught on the push pin there. So again, come back, do it in a few more minutes. You don't want your edges to get too deformed. It actually looks like my paint is going to stay pretty well behaved this time. I think I got it right. Not too thick and not too thin. If I wanted bigger cells, I shouldn't have stirred it as much, but I, I'm happy with the smaller cells. So I'm going to pause it and bring it down. There we go. So greys, it's probably a little bit lighter in the camera than it is in real life. But let's come down and look at some of these cells. Whoops, blurry. There we go. Look. They're awesome. We've got white ones of black, black ones of white, grey ones. And they're all pretty nicely cell shaped. Got a whole really nice cluster here. Are you going to focus? There we go. These here. Don't know why the camera keeps unfocusing. It's naughty. And we've got a whole bunch through here. And as you can see, right here we've got white, we've got dark, we've got grey. That's really kind of exactly what you want. A nice selection of different cells. They're cool. So there we go. Nice cells all the way along. There is negative areas, but that I think if you over torture it, you'll just have all these cells and you won't actually notice them as much because there's no negative space. But that's it. So that is black and white flip cut pour with silicon. So I hope you liked it. Subscribe, share, like, leave comments, and yeah, tell me what you think. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, bye.